Chips, University of Washington. Next up for UCLA on the beam, Yvonne Tusak, the freshman from Canada, part of their Olympia team. In fact, she is a two-time Olympian. And this is her only event tonight for UCLA, which, as you mentioned during the break, gives you some indication of the depth and the talent on this team. Quite a luxury to have that you can rest. Tuzak is ranked fourth in the nation on the balance beam. Some of you old gymnastics buffs out there might know this name. Oh, my gosh, what a surprise. Uh, Elvira Sadi, a very famous Soviet gymnast, years ago, is her coach in Canada. And you can really see the influence. Sadi had had tremendous style, just such panache, and did unusual choreography. And so does Yvonne. She's always been known for innovative floor routines, bouncing routines. Yeah, she was like pretty hot on the beam. 995 in three of her last four. Not going to get that this time. Even Tiger Woods makes his putt once in a while. That's a good point. <laughs> this is almost like putting. It takes that kind of concentration and exactness. I'll give her some credit. She recollected herself and finished off the routine. Yeah, let's see if we can see what happened. I think she was just completely off because with it, yeah, her foot was even slightly off on the takeoff into that final skill. So, no save in that. She gets a word from Valerie Condos Field, the UCLA head coach. Moments ago, Laura Dagenhart from Oregon State on the vault has a season high 995, which she turned in her final home meet at Gill Coliseum. Boy, that's pretty. That's a pretty good one, 985. Laura Dagenhart, a senior from Oregon State. Also moments ago, for Arizona on the bars, Randy Lillianquist. High of 9925 this year. Three all-round wins, 12 individual titles. Wow, oh, that was pretty. Right to the handstand. Very swingy routine, nice smooth swing, good position in the handstand. Ah, oh, and a nice little one and a half twist, dismount. A little different. 985 for Lillian Quist of Arizona. On the beam, UCLA, another Olympian, Kristen Maloney, and another freshman. All the Olympians are freshmen for UCLA. Maloney ranked third in the nation. Everybody goes on and on. Well, UCLA has four Olympians and, and all the benefits that come with that. And certainly there are. You've got extraordinary talent and experience. But you also have tired gymnasts who have just come off the Olympic Games and a lengthy elite career. That has been the biggest challenge for Valerie is to try and get them to relax some, to not feel the pressure because they feel like everybody expects them to do their Olympic level gymnastics and nobody does. But it's hard to turn that off and, and say, have a little fun. Yes, we want you to train hard. Chris Maloney is going to have surgery right after nationals, four days after, to replace. They've decided um, she has a plate, a rod, in her leg uh, because of a stress fracture that would not heal. So they put a rod in before the Olympics. I mean, and she trained through that. And the hardest tumbling at the Olympic Games. And it's dedication. But it's hurting her. And so she can't train um, often at all, really. She's training very limitedly. And they think if they put a thicker rod. It won't move around. They feel like it's moving around some and causing her pain. So think about that. Every landing. Ouch. Yeah. Well, sometimes all you need is rest. You just got to yeah. step down for a little yeah. bit. Remember but, that, that Maloney and Dancer came whoa, straight from Sydney to school. Yeah. It's got to wear on you mentally as well. Absolutely. I think that's the hardest part. But Valerie says she's noticed a change in their attitude. Because they were burnt out, absolutely burnt out. And she says, all of a sudden she sees this change. She says, what is it? And she goes, well, Val, you talk about choices all the time. We've made a choice. We want to enjoy this. So they're enjoying gymnastics. She does talk about the choices. This is a gymnast who has done so much 
for the U.S. in terms of gymnastics has been a very strong competitor at both Olympics and World Championships. This is moments ago. Lindsey Baker, the junior from Cal, on the floor. They're actually doing very well over on floor exercise. Got a low score of 9775, followed by 9825 and a 985. Quite well. Competition in the Pac-10 like UCLA and like Stanford, like Oregon State, does that bring some of those other teams up to that level? Do they, do they play, in Absolutely. this case, perform better like in other sports? Absolutely. And in this conference in particular, these coaches not only get along, they like each other, they respect each other, they help each other. Yeah, there is good camaraderie among the coaches in the Pac-10. It's very obvious. Even tonight during this competition, you look around, you'll see the coaches conferring with one another, sharing a laugh. Perfect example. John Spini, head coach at Arizona State. When, when Arizona State uh, defeated UCLA, he went over and says, you know, you could have put in all your big shots on every single event and probably beaten us, but that was so cool for you. It's so nice because it meant everything to ASU and gave them confidence. He said, this is going to do so much for us for later in the season. That was the only loss for UCLA all year. The Bruins 18-1. Yeah. yeah, there Baker you go. Baker turns in a 9-9 for Cal. They're, put, they're really putting it out there on floor. Moment to go, Katrina Severn, we've seen her before from Oregon State on the vault. Had a perfect 10 on this event against UCLA. Very nice laid out solid. position. A 9.95. Mohini Bahardwaj, defending all around champion from last year on the beam. The only gymnast at the collegiate level, performing three layout step-outs in a row. Seen this routine. It'll bring your heart up in your throat. Here it comes, four skills in a row. Just fitting them in is difficult, too. Oh, she didn't do it. Shortened it up. And she doesn't need it. <laughs> she still has plenty of difficulty in there. Well, Hardwatch continues to challenge herself. It, it's funny to watch her over the, the course of her career at UCLA. Continues to add skills. Well, this is one of Valerie Condos Field's greatest success stories at UCLA. This is a gymnast who a lot of people thought would not make it through four years of college. Very free-spirited, kind of, you know, wanted to play, I think. And she and Val said in an interview in Gymnast Magazine, hey, she got almost got kicked off the team twice, almost got kicked out of school twice. Now she's on the dean's list, thinking about going to law school maybe. So, I mean, it's an awesome turnaround for this young lady. And even with those four Olympians, make no doubt that this is the leader of that team. I think she wants to win a national championship. You could just read her body language. Mohini Bahardwaj on the beam for UCLA. A 9-9-2-5 for the defending all-around Pac-10 champion. She just looks like she's always in total control. Katrina Severn from Oregon State. Solid effort. 